Good evening guys, as we've already had eight South African women were sadly raped by foreign nationals, illegal foreigners. Let's follow up on that story. Some of the suspects were arrested yesterday and others were arrested today and this is what they said with regard to those that were arrested today. Two suspects were shot dead and 65 others were arrested by SAPS during an operation to find a group of men who gang raped eight women at a music video shootout in Kruger's Top. Suspects are from Lesotho and they are currently in the country illegally. One victim was raped by 10 men and she is only 19 years old. South Africans are tearing up following this incident. They are saying we are on our own. Government doesn't care. We have no one to protect us. Please check all the slides that are coming from Kruger Stop in the next slide and let us know of your take regarding this. And that will be all from me. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. But to us, this is a norm. This is what we experience every single day. There's a number of deaths in West Village reported. There's a number of women raped, gang raped. And if, if, if those women were raped by, by, by eight, eight, ten men, that's nothing. We've got women that have, had, that have been raped by over 20 men. One woman going through that. I am a victim of that. I know what it feels like. I know what it's like. To, I've, I've, I've seen the wrath of, of, of the Zamazamas. West Village is under siege. When is your office going to realize that West Village is in the hands of trigger happy beings? We, are, we live like foreigners in our own country. We've got a curfew from six till five o'clock even during the day you can't walk freely without having an escort you can't go to the store and buy bread without having an escort because they are there this grass that you are talking about ask the mayor how many times have we asked the mayor please at least do not give them a conducive environment please do not give them a place to hide how many times have we engaged with the mayor's office that at least Put up street lights. If you go to, I, I actually invite you to go to West Village now. It is a ghost town. It is, it, it's like there's no people living there. And there's people living in West Village. We're talking about taxpayers. We're talking about voters in this country that had put you in that office. But you're, you, and, and you're not saying anything about the police that are in the capacity, the, the, the police that are in, in, in the payroll of, of these people. Because we, we can't run to the police as the police themselves who saw to, to serve and protect the nation are not doing that. Instead, they are handing us over on a silver platter. Who knows, by the time I get home, I'll be waiting for my assess uh, assessors by the gate. They'll be waiting for me. So do not... Uh, uh, I, I, I do understand from your point of view trying to clean this up, but up until we see it in West Village, up until we experience it, then we will be able to say thank you. But right now, I am speaking for all those deaths that, that, that have been reported in West Village. I'm speaking for every woman that has gone through rape in West Village. I'm speaking for every a, a child of four-year-old minister is able to narrate these gruesome stories. When they are trapped there, they couldn't, they, some of the victims tried to run both sides, but my view is that they, they can't climb the mountain. Then the only way, some decided, let's run back to our vehicles. When they arrived at back, their vehicles, there there were 10 people, suspects, Basutu nation, people wearing blankets and balaclavas, and they came this side. When they arrived at their car, they found 10 other people wearing blankets and balaclavas. And they said, all of you, you lie down. But here, there were about three or four people who already, those 10 guys found, they said, lie down. They went and collected all those. They brought them, uh, they all made them lie down there. After they brought them back here, uh, searched them, took the availables, searched their vehicles, took the availables. And after realizing that now, this victim... <laughs> Uh. And this is very deep, hey? Chamdo. Basically, now they are inside the municipality yard, even though they are underneath it. We have activated them to bring the 
TLB so that we can close. Here is our mayor. Here is the big bus. <laughs> These children that you are seeing here, we saved them in the Zamazama territory. They were almost dragged into this bush here by the Zamazamas. We found about 50, 60 Zamazamas about to pounce on them as we were driving past in our patrol car. They are so drunk, they are so drunk, they can hardly walk. <laughs> 